Hi, it's Fossey here with three tips to look out for when you're building your brushwood fence. Uh, this is particularly important if you are going to consider choosing the cheapest contractor. Uh, the first area is where the fence is sitting on the ground uh, instead of on the slabs, the wooden slabs that it should be. One uh, problem is that your weeds grow up to the base of the fence and then you're encouraged to uh, get rid of the weeds with a whippersnapper and then you chop into the bottom of the fence and remove a lot of the brush material at the same time. Uh, second problem is that the fence rots and you can see in this example that there's quite a separation now between the ground and the fence itself because it's rotted over time and uh, the, the net result of that is that it will slip down uh, through the wires if it's not clipped tightly. Um, if it slips down you'll get separation between the roll top and the fence itself as you can see in this picture or uh, the fence will sag second problem is when you do it too cheaply is that the cover over the uh, brush the, the metal parts of the fence the poles and the uh, spreaders is, is done too thin too thin um, the cover in these areas uh, gets heated up a lot more than uh, the normal parts of the fence and it has a thinner protection so the net result is that that this stuff deteriorates much more quickly and you get exposure of the poles and the spreaders and you, you'll have to get someone in to repair the fence because it looks really bad in the third one, um, the brushwood fence is hand-packed too thinly. The, uh, the contractor has um, not used enough material or hasn't packed it properly, and that ruins your uh, privacy and your wind and sound protection. So there you have it. Three potential causes of problems if you do your brush fence too cheaply. The fence sitting on the ground when it shouldn't, should be set on a proper base. The material covering the poles of the fence and the spreaders of the fence is not thick enough and the fence is poorly or loosely packed. I trust you found these uh, inside tips helpful. Uh, to get more information visit my website sydneybrushfencing.com and get my free report 17 things you must know before you hire a brush fencing contractor. I'll see you there.